Hey guys, it's Melanie Glad, and I just wanted to jump on here for Tuesday training to talk to you about the post office and how annoying it is to wait in line um, when you have to send your party prizes to your customers. Um, first off, make it very clear to your customers when you will ship them. Um, because of this, I am able to ship much quicker, but I still a lot of times will go to the post office and um, just so I can get a receipt. Um, and make sure everything is correct because this is still new to me as well. But I wanted to share how to ship using PayPal to you. Um, you do not have to create an invoice. However, you are able to create an invoice and ship from that. But I'm not going to talk to you about that today. Right now, I'm just going to talk to you about PayPal.com ship label create. I'll put this um, link in the comments so you have that as easy access. Ship to this address. This is what's going to come up when you put in that um that code so i'm just going to make up i'll do my mother-in-law and make up an address oops not gonna work if i spell it wrong Sorry, my computer is very slow sometimes. Okay, so I have her address in here, no stalking her. And I click uh, ship to this address. You also can put their email address in here as well. Um, that way they get an uh, email confirmation. Um, then you're getting this. So it's shipping from this, no stalking me either. Um, and it's shipping to this. And then you are you just basically have to fill out the information. Carrier name, you're sending this USPS most likely. Priority or service type. So you can do first class, um, which is going to be first class or priority is what you are going to do for anything other than media mail. Look up the media mail restrictions. It has to be a book, no activities, um, nothing with a pen, no toys. Um, the book has to be more than eight pages long. There's a lot of requirements that make it media mail, um, so make sure you know that information um, before you select media mail because all media mail is subject to be um, searched, and if it is not media mail, they will charge you the difference, which is understandable, um, but sometimes they will not send the package. So make sure you send it how you need to. So I'm going to send, I'm going to pretend to send, sorry, um, the Illustrated Shakespeare section. Um, I'm sorry, the Illustrated Shakespeare book. Okay, so that is media mail. So I'm going to select media mail and it is going to be a package or thick envelope. Go to Walmart excuse me, go to Walmart and pick up a bunch of these. Um, Walmart has them the cheapest. Target is a little bit more expensive. Um, Amazon might have them. I'm not sure the price for Amazon. But you pick up a, an envelope. And then a lot of, I will almost always wrap the book in some kind of either the packing tape or packing paper from that Usborne sends us or I'll use bubble wrap. I'm not doing that for this just because this is a sample. So, um... Oh, this might not fit in this one. Yeah, well. Okay, so you, you stick it in. And then you need to have gone to, or I got this from Walmart. You need to pick up some kind of food scale. Um, the food scale doesn't have to be more than 10 pounds. Um, this is great for using, um, for shipping from home. So you do one of these scales. This is what it looks like on the inside. I don't know how easily you can see, um, what this looks like from where you are, but it's just a nice little scale. Um, Walmart, $10. That's all you need. Um, so it's meaty mail, it's a thick envelope, and then you have to do the package weight. So you just turn on your scale. You can't see what I'm doing right now, which I apologize for. And then you just weigh your package. So this weighs two pounds, six ounces. So I would do a typer right here, two pounds, and I always round up just because, heaven forbid, well, two pounds, 6.3 ounces. I'll do six ounces because um, every ounce it changes the price. Nah, let's go up. It's always better to go up to be safe than sorry. Um, if you want to add tracking, you select this. Like This is all optional for you. 
um, whatever you want to do, mailing date, whatever day it is, calculate shipping cost. Okay. Sorry, my computer is very slow if I haven't said that already. All right, so shipping this illustrated book will be $3.61. So then I would do confirm and pay. I'm not going to do that because I'm not shipping this book for real. Um, but I will show you what it looks like. I keep a file of all of these in my tax folder. So that way it's really easy for me to know what I have done and what I have not done. Um, so here we go. I'll do this one. Um, hers was only one single book, if memory serves me right. This is what it's going to look like when you have selected confirm and pay. You're going to get this kind of folder. I'm sorry, this kind of thing. I apologize that it's so slow. It's going to look like this, and it's going to have... Um, is there a way to see that bigger? I don't want to ship it right now. I just want to see. Okay, so there you go. It's going to look like that. It's going who is going to, who is coming from, and it's already paid for. So all you do is you you cut this or you print this out, you paste it on on your book, and then you can either bring it to the post office or you can schedule a pickup and have or you don't even really need to if you're only doing one or two. If you have multiple, you schedule in a pickup so your um your mail carrier knows to come to your door or whatever. But if it can fit in your mailbox, go ahead and just stick it in there with the flag up. Um, I usually, when I do go to the post office, I have a lot of stuff. So I always just go, but this way I don't have to stand in line. I literally drop it off and go. Um, so this is a really easy way to do that, and I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any further questions, please feel free to comment below, and I will help you out as soon as I can, okay? I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.